the first time taking the field, your 2018 South I'm hanging in there. We're getting it done. This water should not be here. This is not fans first. It's attention to detail. So I got a list about a page long of things that we need to do. People were slipping. It was unacceptable. We didn't have enough food prepared. Point blank. And the lines were outrageous. The lines were not fans first. Unacceptable. We got to figure it out by, by, by uh, Thursday because we're going to serve twice the amount of people and about the same amount of time. Is there anything for tonight that you're worried about? No. Not really, to be honest. Every year, I want to come up with something completely dramatically new to baseball industry or sports industry. This year, I was like, hmm, could our player actually go on a date with a fan in front of 4,000 people? So we're gonna get a tablecloth, flowers, all right, flowers right there, big, big arrangement. You know, will there be a catered meal? Will there be people serenading with guitars? I have no idea what it's gonna look like, but I can't wait to watch it. What are they? I was shocked when I saw these two statues show up. I never even knew we were getting a banana statue. So when it showed up, I was like, what is this? This is kind of awesome. I love it. People are gonna get pictures with these like crazy. Anything that can provide a photo opportunity for fans, something that's a little unique, a little bizarre, a little outrageous, fits exactly what we're trying to do at the ballpark. The most challenging is making sure that I have 150 people here for each of our games. Working with high school and college students, it is summertime, they're off a break, and so that's a big part of my day to day. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, he's up. We just need the players that's going to be playing for them tonight. So it has to like coincide. Right now, I'm trying to make sure that we have a roster for tonight so that we're actually able to play. And then now, game day staff is arriving, so I'm managing sure that they're getting their shirt, getting food, and getting all set for tonight. So balancing the operation side and the playing side of baseball. <laughs> I'm gonna mention little things. It's fine. You don't have to do the whole door, just something here. I don't know. Even if it's just a sign or something, I don't know. I've told Jonathan they haven't put it up yet, but what I guess my biggest fear is that things get pushed till two o'clock. The photo drop, he has it, they just haven't put it up yet. For us, we have a 1926 ballpark. We love its character and its history, but with that gives us some unique difficulties, unique challenges, and that is making sure it looks great for the fans. Uh, you know, I take pride in, I know our staff does, walking around, what can we do a little better to make a little better fan experience? That's a big opportunity right there for something. However you make signage more visible. Um, I told the city, so they, they, they tighten up the wires. They gotta, this season, get some kind of styrofoam or thing that wraps them. We're really going to invest in the fan experience, attention to detail, to make sure that these fans get that next level of experience. Um, we should have a sign here. We don't have all our signage up. We have electrical issues. We have wiring things hanging down. These are the things I notice, and we're constantly looking at that. All right, let's go up in the grandstand. It looks like we're much better on the water here. Bar looks clean. That looks good. Very simple. Love that menu. This crap from Budweiser obviously has got to get fixed. I go, guys, are you proud of this? The whole community is visiting us. Let's make sure our ballpark looks great. Just those like little signs on doors for me that matters. Field looks great. Jesse Cole, Yellow Tux guy, back for another one minute boost. 
It is opening day today, and you can feel it around the stadium. Everyone's got a bounce to their step. There's a lot of energy in the ballpark. Our employees are here early. Everyone's working at the stadium, and we can feel it tonight. Going to be 4,000 plus fans here and a sold out crowd. And I thought, what if we treat every day like opening day? And in your business, if you go around with that bounce to your step and that energy and have that excitement and enthusiasm when you're meeting with customers and you're meeting with employees, you'll be that much more successful. So I love opening day, but what if you treat it every day like it's opening day? I think they realize we're here now. It's, it's an hour away, hour and a half away. It's been a long day, but once the first fan walks in at 5.30, you just can't help but feed off those emotions. Ladies and gentlemen, right here at Grayson Stadium, are we having a good time? Make some noise out there! And tonight is opening night, and I think it's time to get this show started. What are you out there? Make some noise for me! Let's get it going here. We have fun today. Here we go. Oh, you got the seat right here. Looking strong. How this girl? All right. I got some future bananas here. You ready for this? Future oh, banana. Here we are, guys. Meet the Savannah bananas. Oh, hey. <laughs> you doing well? Yeah, I'm doing well. Good. Thank you. Yeah, it's showtime. It is showtime. There you go. So, have you seen the, the Make and Sucks jerseys we're wearing? No, no I'm just <laughs> I, I have heard all about it. I the baseball stuff. I hear you. I hear you. I let you guys do all that. Um, so you, you know it's it's an absolute circus tonight. We got players come out in a motorcade uh -huh. and just go with the flow. Okay, when we first awesome. heard that there was a team coming out named the Make and Bacon, yes. we thought yes. this is war. Gong himself, the Bacon. Uh, We're the no, bananas. There's only one food team in this league, so it was a fun rivalry to say the least. If anything's ha normal that happens during the game, something's wrong. So just let me know. I'll change that. Exactly. All right. and I's first baby and to see him uh, in front of all those movie cameras he was right there ready to go he's gonna be a star I can feel it so we're excited uh, my wife thinks I'm crazy but you know she married me so she, she hopefully she's used to it at this point the bananas are ready the baby's ready it's show time here hey, congratulations. you're gonna make a good banana throw Best I can. All right. Never thrown a banana on purpose. So. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Is, uh, Ricky in the big pig costume. Yeah. Should I call to him? I will check in one second. Okay. Let's go get that. Let's just get the banana and we'll make it happen. Fast pace, isn't it? Yeah. Prior to every game, with our pregame show, pregame promotions, it's always chaos. We probably have the most ambitious pregame show there is. It's very challenging to get everyone right at the right amount of time because we're trying to fit so much in in a short period of time. And what I was going through in my mind was like, are we going to be able to get it all done? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the throwing of our first banana. Is that the home run hitter? He in the bat and the ball. Home run hitter. I don't know. Pre-show was the hardest challenge because I had never seen it. And pre-show is so scheduled to the minute of what happens and how we go. So the game starts on time at 7 o'clock. That was the struggle for me because when things went wrong, which they did, we're now behind. We're now late. And I know how special the home run hitter is. When we bring up a young kid from the crowd and he gets to hit a home run against the bananas and round the bases and the players pick him up and celebrate in front of 4,000 people, that's one of the most special things that we do when we create in our stadium. And if it's not ready, I get worried that we're going to miss it. We're going to miss this time to put on a show for our fans. Oh, wait, did the banana boy do his dance? So that didn't happen? 
so big key is when we have Ryan Haley, everyone else will have their own jobs on this. So it'll make it easier for you. Okay. Um, Ball Boy is there, yeah, he's ready. We went over this stuff and, and I would imagine that they would have gotten the banana, but that probably would have been my fault too. So it's okay. Well, we, the, 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 obviously the baseball bat and the home run hitter, that was my fault. I should have talked about that. We, yeah, yeah. Not, you know, we I've never seen props. it before, so yeah. that's another thing. That's how you did a good job. We're good. Before opening day, I wish I could have practiced a lot with our director of fun, Tyler Gray. You know, I think it all comes down to doing and then learning. So opening night had a, a, some challenges that we weren't used to as far as how things happen quicker than they ever have with someone never seeing it before. The thing is, we don't have enough radios. So he doesn't have the radio. So, I don't, I don't know. so we can't even communicate with him. I can have someone run there. I'll take care. I, no, hey, you got to be on the field now. I'm taking care right. of it. I've never seen anything. Yep, that's fine. There's no communication because no one has walkie talkies, so and no one has any right. Emily's my rock. She puts everything in perspective and she understands what really matters. And in the scheme of things, in a whole game, very few people know when things are going wrong. They're eating their food, they're watching the show, they're having a great time. And I have such that attention to detail and such that focus to make it the best I can that she'll say, Jesse, we're okay, we're calm, we're good. And as high as my expectations are, she makes sure that doesn't hurt the experience for everyone else and myself. Nobody knows anything's wrong. I didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, All the promotions ready. That's that's on us. I got to tell you how to make sure we have the t-shirts. We talked about this. Yes. You okay? Let's go. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Yes, it's Jesse. Animal, animal. Sorry, it's Jesse. It's Jesse. If you could go into the main concession stand, we got you some help. With the heat, we've had two people pass out and one person have a seizure, so. It's 90 degrees here, it's probably 110 back there. We just don't have a, a way to keep people literally air conditioned back there. I mean, safety is our number one concern as much as we care about making sure it's fun, it's entertainment. Obviously, we're having some issues and you know, we ran the medic over there as quick as we could. We had the trainer over there, but. Hopefully we're okay. So right now I'm just hoping I'm trusting the staff and the medics to do their job. There we go. Are we going right now? Nope, after this happening. So let's come back in the dugout, guys. Okay. What do I gotta be cognizant about you in case I say? So cognizant of the time. So um, so Oh no, I'm just gonna pick her. I'm gonna say what's your name. Look at you. Guess what? You just want a date with this beautiful man. Let's see how it goes. We'll check in with you later. So you're looking for like a grandma, right? Yeah, go, go, go. We always think whatever's normal, do the exact opposite. And I thought, what would be really unique? Could we have a player in the middle of the game, have an actual date, have a dinner, sit down and enjoy an experience with a fan, and it'd be a great story. So you might want to try to spot her out, but you want to make sure I'm done with my thing so that you can draw attention to you. Why don't you give it back? Why don't you give it to me? Tyler, don't you got something special going on? And then we'll go on. But I love giving this to a little girl. You do the little girl thing. Okay. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Alright, I'll send it to you. Perfect. You want to let us some more? The reaction of the fans was first utter confusion. What is happening right now? And I love that. I want people to go home and say, honey, you won't believe what I saw at the game tonight. A player actually went on a date with one of the fans during the game. That's an awesome story. And what we're trying to do is create stories every single day at the ballpark. And I think this is a great story that we've started, a great tradition.
The Banana Nanas are a senior citizen dance team. It's honestly one of the most talked about things about the Savannah Bananas. All they do is line dances and people can't get enough. Awesome. And uh, I, I love what you do. Too. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's inspiring. It thank really you. is. Uh, I just ordered your book off Amazon. Oh, thank you. While we were sitting in the seat, oh. I need to read this because it uh, means a lot. I mean, it's following the passion. Yes. And you look like you hit that on the head. And uh, it's it's incredible, man. We had a great night tonight. The entertainment was fantastic. The staff was amazing. Awesome. It means I look forward to seeing you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming over. Cheers. Of course, man. You're giving, you're giving, you're giving. Yeah. That's awesome. People are leaving. Yeah. We're that's giving awesome. all the stickers. So we have a lot of things. This was uh, still better than a lot of Awesome, man. Awesome. You guys are awesome. So. Yeah, I had fun, man. It was a good time. I, I was it. just getting people going, like, and I was, and I was giving them a little tease and all that stuff, so that I kept shaking reality. my butt. Yeah. The more you can do that, go personality, that's the way you do it. All right. Opening night in the books. Um, wild. Wild crowd. Crazy energy. Crazy atmosphere. I want to give a shout out to Kiki back there. Um, when Kiki ran over into the dugout and said, you know, as you guys probably heard, we had some unbelievable tough staff issues and people passing out and seizures. And seeing Kiki's face, I've never seen someone care so much about our people. And I got emotional watching you, Kiki, because I've never seen that. As an owner, we couldn't ask for anything more. So when I watch you as panicked as you were and as crazy as it was, I know that you care about these people more than anything, and we would never want someone else, uh, you know, overseeing our people like you. So, Kiki, tonight was one of the hardest nights you've ever had, but just know we really appreciate you. So I think from a fan perspective, the setup of the stadium, the show, the excitement, the players, overall, you know, it was a big, big win for us. We've got some details to work on, and we'll be better by tomorrow, but Guys, it's, it's pretty special what's going on here. It really is. I've never been to a Bananas game. Uh, you really see what the fans feel. No one has thought about it like this, like Jesse has. It's not about recreating, well, he didn't recreate baseball. He just made it new again. I can tell you, we, we talk at length about entertainment and things, and you know we have moments of disagreeing, but the, the guy's brilliant when it comes to this craft, and I'm excited to learn more every single day. It's always someone's first game. You know, it's not just opening night you have to put on the greatest show. It's opening night for somebody coming out every single night. Fans first means going above and beyond to make sure that the fans have a best experience. Making them a part of the show and making them feel like being in the stands is being part of the bananas, about being part of a baseball game, about being part of something that has never been done before. And that's what makes Fans First what it is. We're in the experience business. We're in the people business. Everything we think about is our fans and the journey and what we can do to create amazing times for them. That creates stories that people will be telling for a long time. And to us, I think that's what it's all about. Every day, people come in here. How can we create a moment that they go home and say, you won't believe what I saw at the ballpark tonight?